The banking landscape in Ghana is not too different from other developing countries. The competition is stiff, but with their strong leadership and tailor-made products, a few of the banks stand out. One of such banks is Carl Bank, headed by Mr. Frank Edu Jr. Talking about Mr. Frank Edu Jr., the managing director of Carl Bank, is both easy and difficult. For the period that we've worked here, he's made it very easy in working with him. And it comes down to leadership. Um, he believes in giving opportunities to people, particularly young people. And for the past 13 years that I have worked with him, we've come up with three different career development programs that are geared specifically towards giving the young people the opportunity to unleash their potential, some of whom are currently heads of department and have moved on into middle level and senior management position. And that person have not gone down at all. In fact, as I talk to you now, we have 150 young graduates from the universities in Ghana working with us for a period of one year, after which we will evaluate their performance and there are opportunities, give these opportunities. We've been doing that for the past 10 years and that is a testament to the passion that the managing director has for developing young people. Over the last few years, we've, been, we've invested heavily in the car bank brand. The brand is strong and very competitive on the market. Our tagline, Forward Together, emphasizes the forward thinking of where the bank wants to go and the various interactions and partnership we, we, we have with our clients. The decision to work with Calbank is a very simple one. At the time IBSTEC ventured into the container business, no other bank was prepared to work with IBSTEC. And the reason is that that part of the economy traditionally has been the preserve of foreign entrepreneurs. In its 28 years of existence, Carl Bank has grown from strength to strength. Talk about a leader whose focus has been growing his people, growing profitability of the institution and making sure that all stakeholders are happy. In his 18 years at the helm of affairs at Carl Bank, the bank has sometimes on an annual basis seen our profits double. Somebody like that you want to keep working for and that has been the story with Mr. Frank Edu at its help. Our orphanages project, which is the flagship or the brain child of Mr. Frank Edu, has been very tremendous for the bank. And we've seen people's life change through it. And he has ensured that a number of orphans are taken off the street and are catered for right from childhood to the established. This, for me, is one of the reasons why Frank deserves the award today, because he's been instrumental in changing the lives of people. What we've done with our businesses is that we have been and positioned ourselves as friends of businesses. We listen to your idea, buy into your idea, help you with advice on how to make your idea better. And then in the process, we've, we've grown you as a friendly bank. Well, we approach so many banks, and to me, I always say, in this very world, for work done, you get your salary for taking risk, you make profit. Car Bank took the risk, which no bank in Ghana was prepared to, you know, do. And for that matter, there's a lot of part on Frank Adu's shoulders. But if you ask me to give uh, some sort of recommendations to anybody as far as managing directors and banks are concerned, I would say Frank Adu is the best. Car Bank um, was established in 1990, a collaborative effort between a group of Ghanaian businessmen led by the founding CEO and um, other shareholders, international shareholders led by IFC. So the shareholders were the IFC, CDC, um, the Africa Growth Fund, and then a minority investment bank in the US called Prior McLennan Counts and Co. So I have always believed that, um, and I reflect that in every speech I, I deliver or anything that I write, that and it's not original to me, I take it from Iacocca, who says that you must always make it better than it was when you got it. So my guiding principle and my motivation has always been that if when I was made CEO or managing director, the bank was worth a dollar, by the time I leave, the bank must be worth a million dollars. And that is what has guided me all through. I also believe very strongly in working with the young people that, I, that are around me um, I myself was given an opportunity at the age of 37 to become CEO of the bank 
and I find that working with young people is very beneficial. First and foremost, they have very little hang-ups. Second, they will take instruction. Third, they are, they've got energy, they drive, and they've got initiative, and they've got ideas. And right now, we are playing in their middle. We are playing in an environment which is purely digital. On the award of the African Banker of the Year, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the organizers and um, to say that I'm humbled and I'm singularly pleased for being selected amongst all these contemporaries and colleagues of mine. Clearly, I must have done something right, but to be honest with you, I don't know what I did right. Um, but I'd just like to say a very big thank you um, for this honor. Thank you very much.